Hello, everybody. Welcome to Live at Five. It is Wednesday, March the 13th. I almost said it wrong. That's all right. March 13th, a two show day. <laughs> We're exhausted. Uh, I'm Beth Stevens. And I'm Ryan Lee Gilbert. And we are here with Mr. Eric King. Hello, everyone. We have one of my favorite people in the studio with yes, us today. So great. Will Swenson is From joining Beth. Nantucket Sleigh Ride, Woo! the new. <laughs> Hear that? Yes, we have a live That's studio right. audience Will. named Will Swenson <laughs> and his publicist. Uh, the, the new John Guare play, but first, our top five. This news is huge, Jackman. <laughs> <laughs> Well done. Yes. No, the news everyone was talking about this morning, and we're still talking about, yeah. Hugh Jackman is coming back to Broadway, and he'll be starring in The Music Man. Yay! Um, yes, very exciting. This is not going to even begin previews until September 9th of 2020. Oh, my God. Uh, right? That's it's a, a long time to wait. Away. It will open on October 22nd at a Schubert venue to be announced. Um, the Hello Dolly creative team, after that huge smash, they're all kind of getting back together to do this. You have Scott Rudin producing, you have Ter uh, Jerry Zaks directing, and you of course have Warren Carlyle choreographing. Warren Carlyle, the busiest man in the world right now. Super, super busy. Not only is he responsible for the choreography in Kiss Me Kate, which is opening soon on Broadway, he'll be working on this, but he's also working on Hugh Jackman's international concert tour. Well, Jerry like, Zaks is directing Nantucket Slayer, right? I'm just right. saying. No, are busy, busy guys. Um, of course, I don't think I have to tell you any of this, but you know... Who's uh, Hugh Jackman? You know Hugh Jackman from so many things. He's Wolverine. He's in The Greatest Showman. He's a Tony uh, he's winner. He's a Tony winner for The Boy From Oz, an Olivier nominee for Oklahoma. He also won an Emmy for hosting the Tony Awards. He received Oscar wow. nomination for Les Miserables. Everyone knows who Jackman is. <laughs> um, more information about the creative team and the cast and everything the else. The cast. We want to know the we cast. We want to know the cast. We need to know Mary and the Librarian. We have lots of things to figure out. That will all come soon, but very, very excited to have Hugh back on the boards. And we see a lot of movies turned Broadway shows, but not so much the other way around. You know how I love to champion my favorite plays? I do. Well, this one's <laughs> becoming a movie. I'm talking wow. about The Humans, which was written by Stephen Carroll. Unbelievable. He play. won a Tony Award, and he deserved it. Mm -hmm. uh, they are making a movie out of this. Jane Howdy Shell is going to reprise her role in the film. She played the mother in the play. And she will be joined by Broadway alums Beanie Feldstein and Amy Schumer. Amy Schumer, Tony nominee. Tony Amy Schumer. Nominee. Yes, Amy yes Schumer, she yes. is. Along with Richard Jenkins and Stephen Yoon. Um, so Crazy cast. We don't have yeah. a film, we don't have a release date. But they have a cast. It's, mm -hmm. it's fantastic, and we're yeah. all very, very excited. Um, that's what we have for now. We'll, we'll keep you posted. Get excited. The humans and coming a to a theater near you. <laughs> <laughs> a million girls would kill for this job. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Ready? Uh, so we've been know we've known about the Devil Wears Prada musical that's been in the works for a while now. We've been now. talking about it. Exactly. The the book from uh, 2003 was a huge hit, and then the movie with Meryl Streep and Anne Hathaway was a ginormous hit. And so people have been wanting this musical for a long time. We know that Elton John working with Shana Taub on the music and mm -hmm. lyrics for the show. But we haven't known their director until today, Anna D. Shapiro, Tony Award winner for August Osage County. She will be directing this musical. Uh, she's also directed The Motherfucker with the Hat, pardon my you language. You can say it. It's a of thing. My, of Mice and Men. This is our youth, Fish in the Dark, and Straight White Men. Um, I The description of The Devil Wears Prada is here. I don't think I need to tell <laughs> any of you what The Devil Wears Prada is You're about. You're just not going to tell us things that we already know. Well, hopefully you know. And if you don't, look it up. It's very, it's fantastic. Look it up. Um, other than that, oh, we also know that the book being written by Paul Rudnick, who I know you and I are both we a love huge Paul fan Rudnick. of. Um, a production timeline, casting, additional We don't know team. anything, people. We don't know any of Nothing. that. Nothing. But this is all good stuff. If Anna D. Shapiro and Elton John are involved, it'll be You're coming very hands. soon. You're yeah. in good hands. And this extended off-Broadway comedy is ending a little sooner than expected. Oh, well, this is sad news, but yes. I'm gonna just I'm just gonna give it to you straight. Cut to the chase. The Damn other day. Josh Cohen is going to end its run on April seventh. So it had extended through April twenty fourth. Mm -hmm. Now it's just gonna go ahead and close on April seventh. Go see it. It's a lot of fun. So much fun. And a special new award will honor a very special actress. 
Absolutely. We've also agreed to talk about Ashley Park every, on every single live at five every going day. forward. We can't let go. <laughs> no, we cannot. No, of course, the Tony nominee is going to be the inaugural recipient of the Marin Maisie Award for Empowerment. Uh, she will be the first recipient of this newly named created award. Um, it will be presented to Ashley Park by Jason Danieli, Maisie's husband, of course, uh, who's currently starring in Pretty Woman. And who will be here tomorrow. And who will be here tomorrow. We'll talk more about this. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, the gala celebration is set for April 16th in New York. Um, let me tell you a little bit about how Ashley responded. She said, when her dear Jason first asked if I'd accept the inaugural Marin Maisie Award for Empowerment from the cancer support community, I lost all ability to breathe and had no words. All I can say is that I will continue to be a champion of life, love, and joyful spirit like my friend Marin. Of course, they starred together in The King and I on Broadway. And for Ashley a little bit is there. also a cancer survivor. And she is a cancer survivor herself. Um, um, absolutely. The pre it was previously called the Founders Award for Empowerment, and now it is the Marin Maisie. Don't we all want to call him my dear Jason? We do. I think he should yes, change his name. Absolutely. But congratulations to Ashley. Such an incredible award and opportunity. Okay, so. let me tell you what else is on the site today. There's a lot. There's a lot mm. of good stuff. It was a yes. busy day. We have our spring preview with Taylor Mack, who wrote Gary, a Cannot sequel to wait. Titus Andronicus. And uh, show people with Brooks Ashmanskis. Which was delightful. Um, so delightful. He's just yes. a delight. Yes. Uh, we have a, a sneak peek at Kiss Me Kate. And we have an exclusive, kind of like celeb filled yeah, like celebration of exactly. Stomp's 25th anniversary. So check it out it's and see, see if you see some famous Stomp. faces Still there. Still kicking around. Still down kicking there. around. Yes. Stomping around. across the country. Yeah. All right. That's All right. it for me. I'm going to get you, out of Thank you, Ryan. Here. Yeah. Let's welcome our guest, Eric. I'd love to. Will Swenson is currently starring in Lincoln Center Theater's Nantucket Sleigh Ride Off-Broadway. He earned a Tony nomination for his work in Hair, and his other credits include Waitress, Les Mis, 110 in the Shade, Brooklyn, Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, Lestat, and Disaster. He also was recently seen in The Greatest Showman. Follow him on Twitter at TheWillSwenson and leave all your questions in the comments below. Please welcome Beth. And Will. Thank you, Eric. Welcome, the Will Swenson. Hello, thank, thank you. you. We're dressed alike. Yes, all cool people wore denim today. Mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. How's it going over there at the Lincoln Center Theater? Super duper. I mean, all right, I, okay, look. We know you. We have a lot to talk about. I'm going to read you a little bit about Nantucket Sleigh Ride because it's a new <laughs> play, and you guys, ha you guys don't know what you're in for. Okay, John Guare is taking us on a wild ride. Yes. True or false? Fal no, true. true. No, no, false, no true. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? Ready. A harpooned, well, no, 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 that's what I want to say. Okay, it's about a playwright turned New York stockbroker, because that always happens, who ventures from Manhattan to Nantucket Island one, on a, <laughs> one day on a surreal errand. He gets mixed up with, are you ready for the list? Uh -huh. A giant lobster. Tell me which one's you. Roman Polanski. I'm the lobster. A pornography ring. Walt Disney. Stranded children. A murder. And Jorge Luis Borges, to name a few. What the hell is this play all about? I am amazed that they tried to write a plot synopsis in any kind of press materials because it's it's tricky to describe this one. Um, okay, we've got stranded children, Roman yeah. Polanski, Jorge Luis Borges. Yeah, I mean, uh, we're, and, <laughs> yeah. and it's a, it's a tricky timeline. It's like kind of bounces all over the place. If you've seen John Guare plays before, you know it's kind of right. Uh, he's it's one you of know those. he's like very patrician, kind of very like it's, he's in a rarefied air. He wears a little bow tie. Oh, as a person, yeah, as he's a like person. oh, well, wonderful. Just the play is wonderful today. Right, Just but he is whacked out. Yeah, his brain is his brain is crazy. <laughs> What? It's like he's, he doesn't follow the space-time continuum as far as I know. Not a lot. No, we bounce around <laughs> a lot in this show um, from place to place and kind of like suddenly phone calls happen and suddenly like a memory happens and it's just sort of bing, bing, bing. Okay, but is it fun? Are it's crazy. It's crazy. It's nuts. Um, it's it's so unique. Um, although it is hard to describe what it is about, it is, it's one of the more unique things I've ever seen, let alone be a part of. Um, I mean, we're in that part of the process right now where we're just finishing, like, making all the changes and script changes, You're and we've been in previews, and like, you know, and, and so I have a very warped sense of, of what the play is right now and what day it <laughs> might be or what, what like, time of I? day. Um, yeah, where, am I in <laughs> Tulsa? Um, but it's, it's just crazy. It's, it's unlike anything y I've seen before. But what a great opportunity to be in a new play by John Guare, directed by yeah. Jerry Zaks, and with yeah. John Larroquette in this wonderful cast, 10-person ten, ten cast. Oh my gosh, how many times did, did you see a production of House of Blue Leaves growing up and so just like thought, times. oh, John Guare's like the coolest voice, 
And Jerry Zaks is one of the best directors in the history of Broadway, and, and uh, to get to do it at Lincoln Center Theater and with a cast like this, it's, it, just, it feels incredibly special. So many of your cast members, like you, are also musical theater people. Yeah. Are you singing backstage? We brought that up. We were a Day one, we were like, half of us are musical guys, and, and uh, Jerry was like, ha, ha, ha. He didn't really... <laughs> <laughs> really, but but honestly, I think he he responds to musical people be, for a piece like a John Guare play mm -hmm. because it it feels you very need much choreography. There, well, not so much choreography, but rhythm. Like mm -hmm, like the I language see. is so musical that if you can't kind of hear the patterns in the in the language, then it, it kind of the ball gets dropped. And I think he enjoys people that have that sense of of music in their delivery. What's your character? Since I know nothing about this play except for that list that I read to you. <laughs> um, <laughs> It's, uh, my name's McPhee. The play actually used to be called Are You There, McPhee? And I'm very oh. upset that they changed it. Me too. Because it would have been a way better title. No, <laughs> because I'm Nantucket Sleigh Ride seems like a postcard. <laughs> right. Um, but we should tell people what a Nantucket Sleigh Ride is. It's a thing. It is a thing. Apparently, uh, when whalers used to uh, hunt for whales, they'd harpoon a whale, and the whale would take off, and they'd pull the boat with them, and sometimes sink the, and they'd drag you'd them drag, through the ocean. Hold, it's like fishing. You hold on. Yeah. <laughs> um, they'd drag them under, and sometimes kill the fishermen, or the or until the whale died. You know, it was like. Oh my God. Crazy wild ride. Are the people holding the harpoon the audience? Is that what we're saying? Uh, sort of. We've asked Jerry if he's the whale and we, <laughs> are, the, the whale? we are in the boat. <laughs> <laughs> Who's in the boat? But, um, right. Uh, All right, so tell me about McPhee. Uh, oh, I'm just this, this kind of local on Nantucket who's uh, very passionate about literature and, and uh, lobsters and, uh, and theater. And I'm in love with uh, a girl who crosses paths with him via a house that he bought and uh, and a child porno ring and mm. which doesn't get brought up it's so um, you know I'm what bad thanks for clearing I'm it up thank yeah. you so much that adds so much <laughs> all right well I have to ask you about your family please do I have one first of all it's big we've Broadway.com and Will Swenson go way 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 back and Don't we took pictures that of you with your boys when they were little so how old are Bridger oh, and Sawyer true. now Bridger and Sawyer are uh, 18 and 15 what no, yeah. no, no, they're six. Oh my they're gosh, it's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, that was 10 years ago, that That, that photo that shoot day. we did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Bridger's just uh, applying for colleges and getting word back from colleges. He's like very smart and going to leave me next year. No bribery, please. He. Oh my gosh, can you believe that <laughs> nonsense? <laughs> we don't have to talk about that. Oh, it's so crazy. <laughs> and how are the girls? They're great. There are a lot of girls. Um, Zoe's amazing. She's also a senior and getting ready to go to college next year. And uh, That's bananas. My two-year-old, Sally, is crazy. I she assume it's Sally's household and the rest of you just live there. And she runs the show. Yeah. yeah she <laughs> I mean, I follow Audrey McDonald on Twitter, as we all do, and we get a sense. Yeah, she's, a, she's got a massive personality, go figure, <laughs> and uh, massive hair, go figure, <laughs> and um, she's amazing. Right. Well, this is, you know, Broadway royalty over here. All right, I know that we have some questions from the gang. Eric, take it away. All right. So apparently you did a 54 Below show that was 15% Neil Diamond. What is your favorite Neil Diamond song? Oh. Um, and what percentage Neil Diamond are you? Is my <laughs> other question. I'm like 83% <laughs> Neil Diamond. <laughs> I'm pretty yeah. sure. Did you get 23 and me <laughs> for that one? Yes. Yeah, that came back on my DNA test. <laughs> I so grew up listening to Neil Diamond. My dad was crazy about him. And I listened to, I just know all of his stuff. Um, it's Brother Love's Travel and Salvation Show. That's my favorite Neil Diamond song. And that's the one I did at, uh, at 54 Below. Stunning. I love it. Okay. So do you and Audra McDonald? The wife. Any, okay, good. Thank you. The wife. Thank you. Thank have you. any dream roles you'd like to play together, romantic or otherwise? I'm sure you've never been asked that question. Never. Um, I mean, we've talked about it. Uh, we've talked about the Scottish play. Uh, well, oh. we're not in a theater. We can say Macbeth. We've we can say well, it. Well, yeah. there's a proscenium. Wait yeah. a minute. Yeah. <laughs> there is a proscenium, but it's not a theater. <laughs> um, we've talked about that. We've talked about Anthony and Cleopatra. Um, Come on. You're not going to sing for us? <laughs> oh, I mean, with Audrey. There you go. Oh, with her. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. She's a busy lady. It's it's hard to like nail down schedules at the same time. Is she going to be Marion with Hugh Jackman? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> uh, not that I know that. of. It's entirely possible. I thought possible. I could safely ask because I didn't think so. But <laughs> she'd be amazing. Um, I don't know. She's got a lot of a lot of plans. It's hard to book her on a date, let alone a musical. Do you think she'll have time to see your play? I hope so. <laughs> She's shooting this TV show, and they don't let her know her schedule like the next day of her life. It's one of those what? rough things about being fancy. Yeah, well, she's very fancy. <laughs> I love that TV show. <laughs> it's good, right? Um, so what was your first theatrical obsession growing up? 
Obsession? Well, you come from uh, a little a bit of a theater album, family, or? don't you? Yep, my family uh, runs a theater in Salt Lake City. Um, so I sort of grew up in it. But uh, the first time I think I got kind of struck was probably going to the touring production of Annie when I was like eight years old. And I remember just thinking, ah, oh, I want to be down there. Who did you want to be? Did you want to be Annie? I think I just wanted to be surrounded by I'll girls. just be with the girls. <laughs> <laughs> Surround you with orphans. I see. <laughs> you wanted a golden no, I retriever. Just, I don't know. I was just because they were kids. I think it was the first mm-hmm. thing I'd seen with kids yeah. like that looked like me. I was like, I could do this. Wow. I love it. Yeah. But what was the first play you actually did? Um, before I can remember, I, I think it was Christmas Carol. The, I think the ghost of Christmas Present brought me out as ignorance and want, <laughs> and I was like dressed in and rags. And nothing has and changed since then. Pretty much, you can tell I got real dressed up. You did, and now you're obsessed with lobsters and something else. I forgot. Uh, it doesn't I don't want to know, <laughs> actually. <laughs> so when you said yes to uh, Nantucket Sleigh Ride, mm-hmm. what what like stuck out about it? What what in general makes you say yes to projects? Um, I I'm crazy about doing things that are not thought of as like the Will Swenson vernacular. You know, I, I try really hard to not be stuck in a certain. You've uh, done a good job of that. Hole. Hopefully. Hopefully. From um, hair to Les Mis. I'm just saying. Yeah. And like Priscilla. And, so many and, different um, things. Yeah. Um, so, and you want to challenge yourself as an actor. Um, so doing a play that's that's not a musical is a big, fun thing Knowing to do. Knowing your schedule in advance could be helpful. That's also nice. <laughs> um, but please, Jerry Zachs. Right. New John Guare play. Lincoln it's not Center a hard Theater. sell. Yeah. No, I mean, that's just a, <laughs> that's a yes three times over. Sign. Yeah. Okay. Tell me about John Larroquette. Awesome he's like guy. he's like the uh, the lead in this show, right? Yeah, yeah. And he's seven feet tall. He's very tall. And tell me more. Um, he's terrific. Um, the great thing about Lincoln Center is you you're, you share a dressing room as all the men, so we're all in there all together. together. And so uh, whereas normally you'd have your own dressing room and you don't get to know everybody as quickly, um, we've got to know each other pretty <laughs> quick. And he's such a great guy, just really um, jocular and funny. He's just so funny. You understand why he's been such a successful guy his entire life. Um, and, uh, and just, just lovely and is genuinely, genuinely interested in people. Not one of those big Hollywood egos. Um, he grew up in new Orleans and, um, has just seen and heard and done everything. Like you bring up anybody in the business and he's he hung out with them. He'll tell you a story about playing <laughs> poker with, you know, what, whoever, Chris Farley or somebody. Um, and you just, can tell him stories about the hair tribe, which is all I really ever yes, want to hear about. Yes, totally interested. <laughs> <laughs> I'm interested. Are you going to keep growing the hair and go back to it? You know, I was just it saying this the other day. I, I don't think I've paid for four haircuts in my whole life um, because it's always about the show that just you're in. They say, the don't cut your hair or cut your hair. And they want to cut it because they want it to look a certain way. Mm. And if you're kind of going from show to show, you, you have no control. So as when it's just me, I just don't cut it, and then the next thing they're like, "We gotta cut it." So right now, I've just been growing it because this show said don't cut it, and the next thing I think is don't cut it. So sometimes it gets long, and then they have to cut it off. I love what? hearing more about what? this. What? Tell it's me so more. Boring. Tell me more. <laughs> Actually, one of the questions was, "What kind of hair products do you use?" Oh, really? Yeah. Shampoo. Very little. <laughs> Honestly, lot, not very much shampoo. Um, I, I said this in another Broadway.com interview years ago. You did? I, I, don't, rem- I, rem- I didn't reference that today. Tell Paul. me. Um, no, it was, a, it was a what do you do with your hair question. And I got this from Karen Olivo, who has amazing hair. And she just said, mm. don't shampoo it as much as, as you might think. Yeah. Um, Hot you tip. know, obviously, bathe. Oh. Stay clean. Oh, okay. And, I, and rinse I your hair. Want to get it wrong. But shampoo can dry it out and uh, your natural oils can These are flourish so a little are more. The secrets. If you don't, if you secrets. Don't, that we learn on Live at Five. Karen Olivo. <laughs> She's Thank got you, the Karen tips. Olivo. She knows She's a little the, something she about knows, hair. She knows how to keep it real. Yeah. All right. One more question, okay. Eric, and then we're all set with Mr. Sunning. Will Swenson. Very talented individual. Okay. Do you have any roles that you have not checked off your bucket list? Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, I love new stuff more than anything. Um, so something brand new is always my favorite. Um, but as far as stuff that's out there, I guess uh, I guess I would be sad if I, if I got hit by a train tomorrow and didn't try to eat Sweeney Todd. I got to play that Very someday. Very common answer, I have to say. Yeah. Very that's common. a good yeah, one. Yeah, Oof, that is a good one. Just, and is there someone, you, since you like new stuff, who would you like to work with? Oh, so Who many. should write something new for you? Oh my gosh, Joe Iconis, um, Michael John Lacuso. They all watch, so I'm just, I'm um, just putting it out there. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> Adam Gettle is a genius. There's so many great writers. Yeah, yeah. Joe I would, Iconis. I'd be in, in the headlines pro- nowadays. Yes, oh, he is. so good. Yes, Such a is. great, unique voice. Yeah, so great. Well, Will, 
You are such a trooper for coming in on a two show day. It's my a pleasure. <laughs> ride day, sleigh ride day. Two sleigh ride day. Uh, guys, go see Nantucket Sleigh Ride at Lincoln Center Theater. And then Off you can Broadway find out what it's about. New house. Find out what it's about. <laughs> we don't know, <laughs> but it sounds really exciting. I still don't know, apparently. I think you know. It's just a secret. Um, Eric, will you take us out? Absolutely. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We are live at 5 every single day on Facebook. And if you like a podcast, we are in a podcast format. So go, where, go to wherever you get your podcasts and type in hashtag live at 5 and slam that subscribe button. Tune in tomorrow when we talk to Jason Danielli from Pretty Woman. <laughs>